Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way, where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part six of my Midnight Mission series, and in this video we're going to work on the mission and we're going to put in the doors and the windows and work on refining the bell tower and all the little details on the mission church. If you're following along traditionally, check out part one of this series. And there I will have a list of all the paint and the brushes and the canvas that I use. We're going to be using Infinite Painter for Android. And we're going to go ahead and start working on the mission. We're going to try and go ahead and work on the plaster look of the mission. And so here I'm going to go ahead and start with the Pollock brush. And I want it to look sort of rough textured and kind of like it's not um, real opaque. We want the opacity to be kind of thin on this. And we want the underpainting or the darker color to show up through pockets of dark and light on this plaster. And so you're, you're just kind of building this church just like you would in real life. You're, you're putting plaster on it. And if you're following along traditionally, what you want to do is take your number six filbert brush or, or your bristle brush and just lightly pat the paint on using the side of your brush. And you want to smudge it with your finger or a paper towel and let some of the underpainting show through just to give it this rough plaster adobe like texture. So I want to go ahead and add probably burnt umber with you can even throw in cadmium yellow light and then a white mixture. Throw in some purple to kind of give it a little bit of the nighttime look. And just go ahead and do this all over the front of the mission. And you can go ahead and, and sort of put it around the bell tower and, and try to get around the edges. And as you can see, it's not a real defined shape. So you're going to have to go ahead and go back over this and adjust the shape of the bell tower and, and of the front of your mission. And just go ahead and, and keep adding layers to this to just kind of get a, get that textured look and that plastered look that you want for old adobe mud walls. And you can go ahead and add different colors. You can throw in some cadmium orange light to this mixture. You can throw in more white. We don't want it to be a solid color anyway because it, the, the do, adobe mud is not going to be a solid color. It's going to have darker patches and lighter patches to it. So I'm adding several different colors and I just added a little bit darker here again with the burnt umber color. And just go ahead and keep doing this and keep smudging it in. You have to, in Infinite Painter, go back and hit the smudge uh, function and go ahead and do that and then you can go ahead and I've switched paint brushes back and forth with the, the Leo and the, the Pollock brush and and make sure that the opacity is lowered that it's not fully opaque you want it to look kind of transparent when you put the paint on and here I'm going ahead and and just doing the smudge brush and infinite painter and getting it to to look like the plaster texture again. You may have to do this more than once and get several layers on it but just keep on making variations of color and that will give it the more naturalistic adobe texture look. And then here I want to go ahead and show the edge of the moonlight shining on the mission wall here. And I'm using cadmium yellow light with a lot of white in it. And in the Infinite Painter app, I picked the Blackwell brush 
which is actually part of the pencils or the sketch category to just give it sort of that edge light look from the moonlight and you don't want a big solid line you kind of want a broken looking line because this is going to be the adobe wall and it's not going to have a solid smooth line so you want it to look broken up and and sort of jagged and then for the right side of it where it's going to be in shadow you want the same look but you want to use burnt umber or something that's a darker brown color and just go ahead and follow the edge of the wall and you make the the wall a little bit thicker because you're showing the depth of the of the mission front there so you're going to make it a little bit thicker on the right side and just go ahead and and bring it all the way down to the ground because that's the way the facade of these mission churches are the walls go all the way to the ground so just go ahead and and keep making that a little bit thicker there and like you're seeing the mission just a little bit from the the right side and then i'm going to go ahead and work on the bell tower a little bit here and if you mess up which i usually do on the bell tower you can go back and take your sky color and just go back in there and put it over the the dark brown or whatever you did to mess up which i usually mess up on the bell <laughs> So just go ahead and don't panic. Just take your sky color, go back over it again and use it to adjust the shape of where the bell is going to be hanging. And so I went ahead and did that here and smudged it in a little bit. And then I worked on adjusting the, the shape of, of the bell tower. And it's kind of a half oval shape here with the bottom being straight across you want to make the left side a little bit thicker because again the angle that you're looking at it from the right side just a little bit it's not a big perspective problem here you just want just a little bit of an indication that you're looking at the bell tower from the right side and then you can go ahead and add more sky color to it and you can go ahead when you're doing this traditionally and smudge it with your finger and just go back over it again with your sky colors. It's kind of, it's harder to do traditionally than it is digitally, but you can do it. You just have to go back with your paint and smudge it back over again. And so here I was trying to get the shape of the bell and the bar that goes across that the bell hangs from and trying to get sort of the the sky in the background again and you can use the eyedropper to match the colors when you're doing this digitally so it's a lot nicer to be able to do that but if you're working traditionally like i said just paint over it again and so i decided the bell shape i wasn't getting it right at all so i just went ahead and painted over the whole thing again and sometimes you just have to do that. I know it's a pain in the neck. You don't want to. No, I've already done it. No. But sometimes it's better to just paint over it and start again because it will look wrong in your painting. So you don't want that. So you just go ahead and, and start over again and, and do it correctly. And so I went ahead and, and did the shape of the bell tower again. And this time... I think I got it right so I went ahead and and painted the bar that the bell hangs from across and just kind of make a, a silhouette shape of a bell you don't have to make any big details but just kind of get the shape of an old mission bell here and you can use burnt umber to do it and you can use your script brush for this or some sort of a small round brush and just kind of get the shape of the bell and you might have to add a little bit of sky color to get the shape of the bell and when you're doing this traditionally remember to scatter some of the color that you're using to paint over 
around throughout your painting just to give color continuity and to make it look like you didn't make a mistake. That's just a helpful hint there for everybody who might run into this problem. And then here I want to go ahead and start working on the doors and the windows. And I'm using the perspective guide as a straight edge and because that's one of the functions that you can use it for an infinite painter so and I kind of have the windows in the wrong place in the door I want to kind of line them up with the bell tower so I'm painting over some of the dark and moving the window over just a little bit to the right with the mixture that we used for the adobe mud doing the same thing with the door and if you're doing this traditionally, use a ruler or a T-square to get your straight edge. And just don't worry about being a real artist don't, and real artists don't use tools. No, real artists use any tool they can find to help them to make things easier. You want to use your tools. You want to use all the tools in the digital painting program that you're using you want to use all the tools that you can with traditional painting that may mean rulers t squares just whatever it doesn't matter you're not any less of an artist because you're using tools so here i'm just painting them in with a dark color so that we can light them up later with the candles and and make a really neat candlelight effect and i wanted to go ahead and uh, make that window a little bit longer and then I'm working on the window on the other side just using the same color and trying to get the edges straight sort of get the arches correct and just get everything sort of architecturally correct there and you can use the line function in infinite painter to to make your edges look straighter it's actually really quite handy and again just use a ruler if you're doing this traditionally you can use your script brush or a flat brush to adjust the outlines of your doors and your windows so this is the end of part six of our midnight mission and in the next part we're going to go ahead and keep on refining and adding more details to the mission because that's going to be the focal part of our piece so thanks everybody for watching thank you so much for your support if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and i will catch you later